Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to uh, the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have said GFS and ECM ensembles, maybe run around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFS meeting to at the end of the video for next week. It gets us into the first half of January. Up towards the middle of the month now, not quite there, though. Um, and I should get some of that for you in a moment. Just say the first video sales are 6 m UK weather forecast. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for uh, doing that. First, the 10 14 day on Sunday for a little work. Of course, we're not doing any more long range now. We uh, signed off on the winter updates with winter forecast uh, last Sunday. And so now have Sundays free from the long range. And so, we're doing 10 to 14 days now on a Sunday. And I can tell you, so live streams will be returning. Possibly first one on the 28th of December. Maybe uh, in the new year, first Sunday. I think that's the 4th of uh, January. But anyway, well, whatever date we bring them back, some live streams are coming back for the winter. So, gap time, 6, 7 p.m. on a Sunday uh, will be live uh, once more. I'm looking forward to bringing back the Sunday live stream. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, let's crack on with 10 to 14 now. I'm off to watch the gap shortly. So, uh, we've got uh, low pressure in the Atlantic again. Another pretty deep low to the south of Greenland and an active weather system away to the northwest with quite a strong southwesterly wind as well. So, the Atlantic onslaught goes on, as does this mild December centering temperature currently sitting at 8 degrees, 8.0, that's 3.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average, and that is provisional to uh, yesterday, the 13th of December. These were GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're going to Whitney again today. The red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Whitney. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. They're coming down, though, as we uh, approach the Christmas period. We find upper air temperatures cooling possibly going cold again there's a lot of uncertainty about just how cold we're going to turn it i think as we get into christmas we've got the blue line here that's the gfs control run uh dipping down to pretty cold level and sustained cold like that through the course of christmas week other um members of gfs ensembles are looking uh milder so again a lot of christmas uncertainty precipitation wise uh well we see uh, plenty of rainfall spikes to come over the uh, next week or so, gradually starting to see a bit of a dry and chair may be opening out, though, as we move towards and beyond Christmas. That's extended range, though. Temperature anomalies. Next five days to so 19th of December above average. What about 10 to 14 day? Well, that's coming out a little bit below average, though, for southern and southwestern regions. So that's an interesting, definite cooling trend in evidence there. Precipitation uh, anomalies to the 21st of December. Very wet for more western and northwestern regions. Driest in the far southeast corner. 8 to 14 day. Looks drier than average, though, in all areas. Right, well, let's start going through the all important chart data. That's what we're waiting for. Starting with the latest UK Met Euro run for uh, midnight on uh, Wednesday. Deep low pressure in the Atlantic, keeping the west southwest is going. The onslaught continues. Very wet wind with that door to low there. Uh, two daughter lows uh, to the south of that main low for Thursday and Friday. That will bring a deluge towards the end of the week. I've got a story of that. And yet another low pressure coming in next weekend. And that will bring in plenty of wet weather. Notice, though, as that pushes through towards East Scott by next Sunday, we're beginning to get a little bit of a ridge going in the Atlantic. And that's starting to pull down. Pull down, I should say. Not pull, pull, not pull down. Pull, uh, pull down. <laughs> More of a northwesterly. We're beginning to drop the temperature and starting to turn a little bit colder there by 21st of December. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at Icon. And... Uh, uh, that one is looking like this. Again, deep low pressure is in the Atlantic there, bringing plenty of wet and windy weather through the middle part of week. We don't get that uh, nasty door to low around Thursday, Friday, though, I don't think. So not storming at the end week of ICOM. And then low pressure starts dropping in uh, from the north on the northwest south piece of alignment by next Sunday. So as that low pressure drops through, bringing further outbreaks of rain, Ridge begins to build behind it, and that starts to pull down some colder air uh, from the north, maybe. 
Is that the start of things turning colder for Christmas? Let's pick up the story with uh, the KMA. So, again, lots of wet wind weather to come. Looks pretty stormy there, I have to say, at the end of uh, next week. That's Thursday to Friday. That might be a name sort. We'll have to wait and see uh, about that. Into next weekend, same idea, a little bit colder from the north as this ridge builds behind below. And then high pressure starting to take over within quite cold air as we approach the Christmas period. And check that out. Christmas Eve, we start to it's Christmas Day, set up a Scandinavian high. We bring the wind around to an east. Sea. That's a cold Christmas, and that's probably cold enough to bring snow showers. Wow, 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 wow. Into more southern and southeastern parts of the country. Good gracious me. Merry Christmas from the KMA. Gracious. I reckon we'd get some snow showers from that in the south and the southeast. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures. I can't think too long this because I'm not going to go to work, but let's see. So it starts turning cooler, well, colder next weekend. I mean, we're not talking about anything that cold, but certainly cold enough for shower to turn to snow. And uh, yeah, so by the time we get through the Christmas day, though, got minus eight Celsius ice perm down across south. That's properly cold air, and I reckon that would deliver snow showers to southern and eastern regions on Christmas day. Ooh. <laughs> well, expecting that, were you? Well, maybe you was. Okay, well, let's move on. And have a look at uh, the... Uh, I'm like a big kid. I'm just like a big kid. It's been so long since I had a cold Christmas. Wouldn't it be nice? Well, let's move on. Have a look at the GFS. Even if you don't like cold weather, even if you don't like snow, even if you're great about Christmas, like, who could begrudge a cold Christmas after all... And with some snow, you know, after all of these years of my own Christmases. Let's have a look at GFS Midnight Run. So, uh, wet and windy weather on Thursday and Friday with low pressure well and truly in control. Then we get this low starting to drop in from the northwest. All models are going for that, aren't they? And that's like the trigger, I guess, to start building in higher pressure behind it. So, now, the GFS is not as good as the KMA, nowhere near, with uh, colder air. So, although we get high pressure building in, the wind remains like from a southerly southeast direction. Probably cold enough for some frost, but certainly wouldn't be any sort of uh, force uh, about snow uh, with that. Just mostly dry and chilly, I guess. And there could be some overnight frost. That gets to 30th of December. Pretty poor from a Jeffers midnight run. What about the 6th then? Well, again, we see uh, that we've got low pressure dominating the weather at the end of the week, bringing lots of unsettled conditions in with it. Then that low pressure next weekend starts dropping through the country, trying to raise the heights, but still keeping energy coming from the Atlantic. So no sort of cold easterly there. You see Chris Day just keep winged in from where it's actually quite mild. Oh, actually quite mild on uh, Christmas Day. So, well, a lot of uncertainty, though, isn't there? Been mild output for Christmas, gracious. Uh, that's how we're looking to get to the end of the uh, GFS Big Night Run. Is that high pressure on its way up to Greenland? Maybe, but that's 384 hours away. And generally looking quite mild, I think, there with that GFS run. What about the control run, which I think goes cold? Let's have a look at GFS control and then we'll move on. So, again, lots of wet wind weather coming in from off the Atlantic through the end of the week into uh, the weekend. So, that's turning cooler or colder from uh, the northwest. And then that's the difference. You start to set up this area of high pressure, which brings does bring in an easterly flow. Um, like, yeah, it's not that cold over content, but cold enough to have a seasonal feel. Anyway, that's Christmas Day. A lot more like the KMA, but not as cold with the upper air temperature. But like, it's a proper Scandinavian high there. And uh, blocks as well. That high pressure hinting at going to retrograde and heading towards Iceland by uh, the post-Christmas period. And so by the time we get through towards the New Year, uh, we are poised there to start bringing some very cold air. Notice that we have now dropped really cold air into Northern Europe. And that's what I was saying yesterday's video. Things can change, can change very quickly in a continental climate. So even if you don't have much cold air initially over the continent, well, that can soon shift. That's the, uh, how the upper air temperature looks. Chris Eve, Chris Day, probably cold enough for some wintry showers. On those easterly wings, but not, you know, not particular, so not, so not a beast of yeast or anything like that. But notice as you approach the new year, much colder air suddenly starts dropping into uh, northern Europe. 
And so by the 30th of December, well, most of Europe then, most of Northern Europe then, have been plunged into the freezer. And it's happened in like two or three days. But swings across Europe are not as dramatic as the swings across North America. But like, it's a continental climate, so um, we do still see uh, quite dramatic swings at times. And I say that is poised very much. So for us to start putting in some of that very cold air to the east and the northeast with that GFS control run. Uh, right, okay, so uh, let's move on. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all about videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gazways and get them to subscribe too. And thanks so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. About uh, 35 subscribers gets us to 20.8k, uh, so it could give us up. That'd be awesome. And if you've been enjoying the content of the channel uh, this year, which I know has been as good as some years, but like, if you have enjoyed what we've done on the, con on the channel this year, uh, then um, some people probably think less is more, though. Um, but anyway, uh, give us, uh, uh, consider giving us um, a donation for our PayPal page. This is our page. PayPal page, you'll see, and find the link in the description, first thing you'll see, and so, you come to this page, send whatever donation you'd like to give us, we'll give you a shout out in a future video, and just say Merry Christmas, you know, maybe on a Merry Christmas to you, for somebody else, Christmas message uh, to a loved one, for example, we're happy to do that. And you'll be helping uh, to support uh, the channel. So thank you so, so much, everyone, uh, for all of the support over all of these many years. And Gab is still here, still doing it after all of this time. Blimey. Are we going to get a cold Christmas this year? I wonder. Right, OK. Well, let's have a look at GM. I've got uh, low pressure again in the Atlantic, bringing my wet and windy weather in from the west through the middle part of the week. Very mild, but also wet at the end of the week into the weekend. We've got this low starting to drop in from the north. Colder air is beginning to sink southwards with that. High pressure building over Scandinavia. Winds turning into a not particularly cold easterly. But uh, certainly a nice area of high pressure to our northeast. It's a proper sort of Scandinavian high. Winds are in from the east. Well, that far away, I don't think they're from pulling in some uh, pretty cold air from the east and from the northeast. That's Christmas uh, Eve, midnight Christine. No, we're actually relatively mild with the upper air temperature, but on the surface, it would be cold. We'd be having an inversion with that, I would have thought. And like proper cold air sitting up to the north and to the northeast. So if we carry that pattern on for another day or so, I reckon these cold upper air temperatures would start advancing into Western Europe, possibly on Christmas Day. And uh, then the ECM is going to round it all off. Very interesting chart data today, I have to say. Uh, again, we're looking mild, wet and windy as we're uh, moving into the end of the week, heading into the weekend. Uh, we find that uh, low pressure starts elongating through Western Europe with cooler, colder air. Start to dig in from the northwest. High pressure building behind it. So uh, that's next Monday. High pressure to the north. Winds going into an east or a northeast. Proper blocking area of high pressure there as well. So that mild, mild GFS midnight is actually isolating most of the model output. It's a lot more blocked and a lot colder than that. I have to say, hmm, now that's a bit of a turn up, but it's not very often that happens. That's uh, uh, Christmas Day afternoon. And again, high pressure is between Iceland and Scott, uh, between Iceland and Scandinavia, I should say, and we bring in like a proper easterly flow there. We'll have a bit of temperature in the moment. The uh, Scandinavian high is maintained as we go beyond Christmas towards the new year. No, probably saying uh, quite cold there. Looking at the upper air temperatures. That's how uh, they're looking. So that's Christmas Eve. Got my spine south ice burn through the country. So technically, it's probably cold enough. Some uh, windy showers. Not as cold as the KMA was showing, I have to say. Uh, and then beyond that, we uh, start uh, lifting the upper air temperature up a little bit. But we'll still be cold on the surface. It's still a blocked pattern. No uh, inversion. Very likely. I reckon that's pretty cold pattern through the Christmas week there with the uh, ECM. This is a precipitation forecast based on the East Shed Run from Tometshow.com. So plenty of wet weather to come over the next few days as the bands of rain and areas of low keep coming and going. Uh, eventually, a bit of a hint of some rain and snow down across the south there. That's 21st of December. That's quite interesting. 
And then we're putting in most easy winds as we're moving towards the new year with showers maybe turning wintry in the northeast. These are the yachts on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Full day 10 from the Icelandic Metal gets us to Christmas Eve. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the north. Winds coming in uh, from the east. That is looking uh, potentially quite cold. We've got 15 with high pressure to the north and to the north east. Again, winds coming in in the easterly direction with that. We've got nine with high pressure to the north. That will bring around an easterly wind. And then we've got seven with high pressure over the top of the country. Most of the options looking drier there for Christmas and potentially a little bit colder in two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. Gets to 29th of December. 11 members of the ECM on songs with high pressure to the north, but bringing the wind from the east. We've got nine with high pressure again. To the north, bringing the wind from the east and from the northeast. We've got eight with high pressure ridging from the southwest to the northeast. Mostly dry. And uh, you would have thought quite mild with that. We've got a further eight with high pressure over top of the country. We've got eight again with high pressure away to the northwest. A little bit of an east north east flow with that one. And then we've got seven with high pressure just to the south. I'm bringing in like a flat westerly type flow. So, big change from the very unsettled weather we've had recently. Looking drier, definitely, for the Christmas week and potentially colder too. So, this week, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar high to break down week periods. The first week period takes us from the 14th to 20th of December. Next week, with low pressure, keeping that Atlantic onslaught going. Week two is going to be the uh, 21st, 27th of December. Low pressure keeps on coming. CFS not seeing a change there. And not really seeing a change into week three either. 28th, December, 3rd of January. Low pressure to the northwest. High pressure south, southwest. Winds coming in from my southwest direction. No Christmas colds. That would see FS there. Uh, week two, a little bit different. Week four, I should say, a little bit different. It's the 4th to the 10th of January. No pressure and heading into Scandinavia. High pressure pulling away from us. Sends the wind flow actually on the northwest southeast alignment. That could start to drop something a bit colder in from the northwest. But really, for CFS, as usual, got to be dragged, kicking and screaming to anything colder. And of course, it could be right. Although most of those miles are looking relatively cold and uh, potentially a bit wintry. Particularly that KMA run, but like even the other models could bring some wintry showers as well. Like, although most of those are going in that direction, have the GFS midnight run, which is pretty mild. The GFS 6 said isn't that much right home about either. Lots of scatter within the GFS ensembles. So I wouldn't rule out the CFS with that uh, mild, uh, relatively mild Christmas outlook. Oh, let's wait and see. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this plays out over the next few days. Well, that's it for today's video. Tomorrow, we're going to have more content for you, so keep checking back to the channel. Maybe Christmas update tomorrow. Um, that'll be interesting. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.